What's up, my green mochi? I'm gonna walk you through a push day workout. So my push day, obviously chest, shoulders, tries in no particular order. Uh, it varies. Sometimes I do more horizontal pressing versus vertical pressing, depending on what the focus is on. So today will be more shoulder pressing as chest flies. This, but I actually start with a pull for my rear delt because nobody makes gains when they're injured. That's a fun fact. So slide down with intention from here to here. That's the first thing I do. Three by 12, give or take. And when that's done, I still don't bench because Arnold said, if you can't flex it, you can't build it. So you just go like so, squeeze my pecs, 10 seconds, and now the work starts, come with me. So like most people, my upper chest sucks mainly because lack of real estate, but never give up hope. We have this beautiful upper chest fly here, high incline, where I can isolate as good as it gets. What I can also do is make it a mechanical drop set. So let's say I fatigue, I can collapse my elbows in and get a few more reps with a shorter range of motion. And now it's time to bench finally, but we're using this because it moves inward backwards like the pecs do, they pull, they don't just go straight up. So we're gonna go elevator principle, aka occlusion. So quarter rep, half full. Quarter, half full. This gets miserable rather quickly. I think three sets of eight to 12 rep, rest about 90 seconds. The free weight bros rejoice we're using dumbbells. I got this from Jay Cutler, a push fly. So you're holding shoulder blades tucked in. Allows for a very deep stretch in the pecs. And come till about here. Stay down. Keep it nice and controlled. Three by 12. Last thing for the chest, the hex press. So the hex dumbbells, please not round ones and really squeeze them together, drive. So not just up and down, but almost melt them into each other, keeping the tension in the chest at all times. Uh, for the shoulders, one of my better body parts, courtesy of swimming, I don't really do much. To be honest, I really like side raises, the cable at hip height, so there's tension all the way. Keep it very controlled, drive my elbows up, that literally is the only thing I would be doing for shoulders. Media out that is. Uh, tricep, sadly, is the exact opposite. I'm super not gifted. I need to work more. So I start with an overhead extension for smart people. I twirl. Then I have all the range of motion I need for my long arms. This work in the long hand, needless to say. Deep stretch. So I go pretty high in the reps, like 15-ish or so get some blood flow going that being the first exercise next for the tries would be a triple set so skull crushers but not really because i push the elbows back so i can get the deep stretch in when that fatigues let's say i get eight to ten or so i'll be going into a close grip press no lockout and when that fails i will go into a regular chest press just to fully fatigue the tries. So like 30 reps total, give or take. If I do three things for tries, some people say that's overkill, whatever, but in terms of CCCM, right, the try is actually bigger than the chest. So since we have this beautiful machine, I always throw in dips. So if you watch the handle, it can actually rotate so you can go from a little bit outward to be more strict. And then I have the option as I fail, leaning into it a bit more and work in the chest. So that being my last tricep exercise, actually last exercise period. 